Folks, one of the downsides of the new X-Racer F303 V3.0 is that it no longer uses the standard SP Racing F3 hex file. It has a custom target all its own, and that custom target is not yet a part of Clean Flight and Beta Flight uh, development. So if you want to flash the board, you're going to need to get a custom hex file uh, from FPV Model. So to get that file, you're going to go to the product page on FPV Model's site, and then down at the very bottom of the page, there's a link to the RAR file that contains the pre-compiled hexes that they have made for you. And you can see here they've compiled Betaflight 271, CleanFlight 113, and some version of RaceFlight. I don't know what it is. Now let's pause here for a moment and just say they've pre-compiled Betaflight 271, and they've also submitted a pull request to uh, Betaflight and CleanFlight so that future versions of those software will include this as a standard target. But that doesn't help you today if you want to run anything other than Betaflight 271. And that's why a helpful viewer of this channel has compiled additional Betaflight versions. If you want uh, 281 or 290, there's a link down in the video description to a zip file or RAR file that contains those. And then going forward, we can expect to see this included as a standard target that'll be available from the pull-down list or from the releases page, just like you normally get the firmware. From this point, the flashing the firmware is a standard process, but I'll go ahead and walk you through it anyway. You're going to want to make sure that you have the following options ticked. Most importantly, manual baud rate needs to be 256K. You load the hex file from wherever you unzipped it to. Then you're going to go down to the bottom of the page and just confirm that it shows that you've loaded the FOP firmware right here. And then you're going to go ahead and hold down the bootloader button and plug in the board and it should flash automatically. With some boards I have found that it doesn't flash automatically and I have to click the flash firmware button after plugging it in and then it works. But it should flash automatically based on the options that were selected above. Verifying. And there you go. Then just uh, unplug and replug the board, go to the regular page, and connect, and you're good to go. That's how you do it. Happy flying.